Thanks for checking out the modular exponentiation and successive squaring calculator for masscelebrity.com. If you have a statement like this, you can uh, use the calculator either modular exponentiation or successive squaring. Now, if you're not typing a shortcut, you could just type something like this, or you could do this. But I'm assuming that you do know your problem, so we'll just run it directly from the search engine. So you do something like that. This is raised to the power. Now you can either type mod or modulo. Either one's fine. And you press the calculator or return key. Now you're given a choice. You can either do the modular exponentiation method or the successive squaring method. Let's choose this one first. So the calculator is going to run through the modular exponentiation algorithm. And to show how it gets each step, you can click our modulus calculator. We actually have another video that shows you how to run that. I'll open this real quickly. So it's, it determines 121 mod 53 to get 15, which is how they got that here. And it keeps going down each step in our algorithm until it gets to n equals 0, and it determines that 11 raised to the 13th power modulo 53 is equivalent to 52. Now, if you're on this lesson, or we could have chose on our choice list before, we could have chose successive squaring method. So we'll expand our font. Now this uses a different method, but it comes up with the same answer. And this is a little bit different algorithm, but it still gets you to the same answer. So that's basically how you use the calculator. You have two choices if you do it in the search engine or you're on the calculator itself. We also have a Generate Practice Problem button. You press that once, and it comes up with a random algorithm for practice problem. You press it again, and it does another random problem. The last feature we have with this lesson is a successive squaring modular exponentiation quiz generator. If you have any questions on how to use that, please visit the video link under this quizzes folder here. We'll run one more problem to show you the shortcut. Uh, Two, and this time we'll choose successive squaring for the shortcut and we jump back to our lesson just to show you how you can enter that type of problem anywhere on our site. That's pretty much it. If you got any questions or enhancements please use the contact us link. Thanks for watching.